Hi everyone, my name is Rebecca Stuchetz. I'll be your host today. I'm a part of the marketing team over here at Tech30. And I would first off like to thank everyone for attending this webinar. Um, today we have Emily Pinto, who will be giving a live presentation on tolerance analysis extension. We also have Ron Zabilski, who is a solutions consultant for Tech30. And just to remind everyone, if you have a question at any time during this webinar, feel free to leave it in the question or chat box below, and we will do our best to answer these questions at the end of the webinar. With that being said, I'm gonna be passing it over to Ron, who will give a little background of who Tech30 is and what we have to offer. Thank you, Rebecca. Again, as uh, Rebecca had said, I encourage you to engage with us. Uh, you'll be able to ask questions and leave comments on the sidebar of the GoToWebinar panel. Even if you have questions or comments that don't relate to today's uh, specific topic, feel free to ask and we'll address them in a follow-up email or in future webinars. Please also view Tech30 as a conduit to get feedback to the PTC Creo product managers and development team. We'll also be happy to receive comments or questions by email at any time after the webinar. And for those of you that can take advantage of a promotion that PTC is offering, they are having the buy one, get one half off uh, promotion for Creo that provides a 25% uh, off of two licenses of Creo. <clears throat> this promotion is good for any number of two pairs of licenses and it runs through the end of the year. Please contact me if you are interested in adding licenses to your environment. Next. So again, as uh, Rebecca said, my name is Ron Zabilski. I'm a solutions consultant with Tech30. First of all, Tech30 is a value-added reseller of PTC software products. Second, Tech30 is an engineering services company that helps engineering companies do engineering. We do this with the tools from PTC and other OEMs to help our customers make the most of those tools through training and engineering services. We strive to get to know you and your business, and we are at our best when we can actually expand your business and build a community by connecting them and you with those who benefit from networking together. So Tech30 was established in 2002. We currently have over 80 employees with more than 50 engineers. The headquarters are in Mission Viejo, California, but we're distributed around the US to meet the needs of our customers. I'm located in the Boston area and Tech30 has small business status as well as four business units. The first is the PTC software business unit. We also have 3D printing and additive manufacturing capabilities. <clears throat> we have engineering services and Siemens software capabilities. We provide a wide range of engineering services, including mechanical and electrical design, static, dynamic, and kinematic analysis, design for manufacturing, assembly, and 3D additive manufacturing, new PLM integrations, system integrations and migrations, as well as training and services and all the above. Tech 30 can provide services to areas of engineering and design where you currently do not have the expertise or supplement your existing in-house capabilities. Next. As an evaluated uh, reseller for PTC, we focus on these software products, Creo, of course, Windchill, MathCAD, ThingWorks, and Vuforia. Next. We also have a broad portfolio of 3D printing companies that we represent. You can have a look at these technologies on this page, and I won't go into a lot of detail here, but just keep in mind that we focus on industrial use cases for 3D printing, both in plastics and metals. We can help our customers make additive manufacturing become part of their finished product, or use it for tooling, fixtures, and jigs. Again, if you have interest in this area, please contact me afterwards, and we can have a conversation about your use case. Next. So building upon these three points on this slide that the Aberdeen Group has brought up, let's take a look at how Creo can help you. First, with Creo, you can help accelerate in your product innovation without the worry of complexity. Creo, with its unique technology, helps companies have a competitive advantage in product innovation. 
We help companies have ready reuse of the design data and help you increase the number of innovation and faster time to market. And last, we're gonna help you replace your design assumptions with design facts by improving this new product design by creating new smart connected products. We do this ensuring that you, our Tech 30 customer, never have to compromise on your process, period. Next. So Creo allows you to be ready for the new world of smart connected products. Creo is the only CAD with IoT and augmented reality at its core. So you never have to compromise on a smarter design. In this uh, webinar, Emily is gonna go over the capabilities of the tolerance analysis extension and show you how you can help you explore more design iterations. So with that, Emily, it's all yours. Thanks, Ron. Hi, everyone. My name is Emily Pinto. I work for PTC in the Virtual Center of Excellence. And today we're gonna to go over, uh, do an overview of our Creo Tolerance Analysis Extension. So this is our tool, Designing for Dimensional Variation. Some challenges that we typically see in the industry is that, uh, you know, I'm sure you're familiar engineers, we build a lot of models that look perfect in the digital world, but when you put those parts together in the real world, they don't always work out just the way that you thought it was going to from your 3D model. And that's because there are manufacturing variations and these are just unavoidable. Uh, you can never make two parts exactly the same. You can spend a lot of money and time getting as close as you can, uh, but there's always variations. And so you end up needing to take care of that and make that part of your design so that you know and have control over what is gonna happen in the real world and you know that you're making the best parts possible. Our solution for this uh, is, is a substitute for the, the typical way that this was done, the traditional way, which is by uh, spreadsheets by hand. You could also use um, a really complex tool that's specifically built for tolerance analysis. This is typically what we see being used uh, in the industry today. And these really aren't the best ways to do that, neither of these. So uh, we have Creo Tolerance Analysis Extension, and this is a really easy to use tool for controlling those tolerances. So really getting the best of everything. It is a robust one-dimensional tolerance stackup and gap analysis solution that works right inside of Creo. And it gives you a statistical anal analysis, a worst case scenario for the parts as you have them defined. And it's going to look at the parts and tolerances and add them up. So parts, fasteners, anything in your assembly can be included in this stack up. There's a, a seamless integration with Creo Parametric. It's completely integrated and it acts just like any other type of analysis you might do inside of Creo, like measure the length or the volume of a part. Well, now you can measure your tolerance stack up just as easily. So once you run this analysis, you can store it along with your Creo part uh, to store those analysis results so that each one you do can become part of the model and travel with it, be updated as the parts updated and given to anybody who might need it. It's very easy to use. It's a very graphical tool. And that's because it's intended for general use. It's intended for engineers, uh, you know, not just those highly specialized analysts who use those really complex tools or, or those extensive spreadsheets. This is made for anyone to be able to include in their process to get control and insight into tolerances and, and what is it gonna end up coming from your manufacturing floor. So some of those key capabilities, this is the to tolerance analysis is instantaneous. So as soon as you have your loop defined, it's gonna give you those results. So it's very, very quick. And it shows you the statistical distribution, the mean, the standard deviation, the worst case. It gives you the contribution and sensitivity analysis to say what parts here matter the most. Um, and it does a sigma defects per million units. So are these gonna be good parts or can I make these parts any cheaper? If there's room to loosen a tolerance, you wanna be able to know that because you want a high quality part, but you also wanna make sure that you know, it's profitable and, and you're able to manufacture it reasonably. 
all of this information can be output as an HTML report to put in an engineering notebook, send to someone else that, that might need this information. Uh, it's very easy to open, just open it in any browser. So it's very easy to share with whoever might, might need to use this information. With that, I'm going to jump into a short demonstration to show you what this looks like inside of Creo. So here we have our little motor. Uh, and we're looking here at a, a particular clearance in this cross section. So if we cut this in half to see what's going on on the inside, we can see we have this bearing with a spring-loaded washer, and we need to, to model this clearance here. We need, we need to, to make sure that that's okay. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna come into our analysis tab, and just like all of our other analysis tools, we're just gonna press that button and start a new one. So down here, it gives you a little bit of a help. It says, select the first feature to define the measurement. So we're just picking the two, the, the two surfaces that we wanna measure between uh, to determine that clearance. So here we have the side of our bearing, and we're just gonna choose the plane uh, that we built this washer on. So it gives us the nominal dimension, it gives us uh, a precision, it gives us a tolerance, it tells us those surfaces that, that we're measuring from, and it shows us that we're starting our loop diagram. So now we're gonna start the first dimension to, to define the stack up. So here we choose the width of that bearing. We're gonna click on our shaft and up pop all of our dimensions and we can choose the one that we wanna use. So here we're gonna choose the length of that, the outside edge of that. And then we move all the way over here to this next bearing and we choose that width as well. We can see them being added over in, in our analysis window. So we choose our shoulder width here. And uh, just to take a pause, we can look at uh, that whole process that we've laid out, that whole loop. So we're moving from the, from the right over to the left and it shows us all of the dimensions that we've included there. It lists them here. It lists all of our picks, all of the nominal, all of our tolerances, um, any information that you need to include here, you're gonna be able to see pretty easily in the spreadsheet and then you can keep going so it's easy to know where you left off uh, just start clicking again so here our dimensions pop up for this outer casing we can choose this spacer here and if we have tolerances already defined for something those are going to pop up here as well so that'll be automatically brought in otherwise you can change it and define it as you need to as you add these in add that washer and as soon as we finish that loop, as soon as we close our loop, it's gonna give us our results. So it's very instantaneous. We can look and, and start to interrogate you know, what's really going on here, make sure that everything looks good and is gonna go the way we want it to go. So you can see our results. We have uh, our sigma percent yield, uh, parts per million, defects per million units, our, sensitiv our sensitivity analysis, our worst case contribution, and our statistical contribution. So we can see right off the bat, uh, you know, there's one here driving, really driving this, and maybe that's not what we want, maybe that's not the case. So we're just gonna add, uh, make an edit to that tolerance. Here we can see exactly what that dimension is and what our tolerance is. So our nominal dimension, our tolerance on it, we can change the precision. We can uh, just you know, cut that. So we're gonna make that a little bit more precise. And right away we see our sigma has changed our statistical contribution is a little bit more evenly spread. Uh, maybe this is a better situation for this part, for this assembly, this stack up. We can make these a feature of the model. So we can save our, our analysis, but we can also save these as a feature of this, of this model. So when it, it goes anywhere from here, these are gonna be included with it. So we can see the sigma, the defects per million units and the yield. Our report is easily generated. It's all done for you, you just uh, get this, this HTML report to be able to send to anyone you might need. And all of this information is included in that. Uh, so when we're done, we can just create a name to save this. And later, if we make updates or changes to this model, if we change a tolerance somewhere, if we change a dimension, if we change a part, that's all gonna be updated in that tolerance analysis. So it's gonna keep an eye and make sure that, that if there are any changes made, you're gonna know how exactly that's going to affect that tolerance analysis you did. 
So just to come back and summarize what we've seen, let me shift back over. Okay, here, let's come back. So what we hear from our customers who in integrate this into their process, who use this tool, is that it really streamlines that design process. Uh, the tolerance analysis is no longer some separate thing that is done afterwards by an expert. Uh, it's not as tedious as going through the, that spreadsheet. You know that everything's done correctly. It's done, the, the loops are closed, and um, everything is, is being kept track of. So it really does streamline that process and, and gives you confidence that this was done correctly and that you know what's gonna happen when this goes to the manufacturing floor. It helps facilitate the Six Sigma design methodologies. So if you need a certain yield to make money on the part, you can figure out the before, that out before you start building it. You can figure that out as early as you need to in, in that design process because you have this analysis to use whenever you want. It really does improve productivity, makes designer, designers more productive, not have to wait for someone to get a stack up and not have to do it themselves in a really a tedious manner. All of this contributes to reducing your time to market. So you can cut down on the time that it takes to actually get this thing out. And of course, in the end, this will reduce maintenance and warranty costs uh, you know, down the road, which saves time and money because everything was, was considered before it went to manufacturing, everything was done correctly and you know exactly what you're getting. So uh, the highest quality part is going to be the one that, that the customer receives. So. This was all I had to show for today. I can pass it back off if there are any questions. Thank you, Emily. We actually have a question um, from Bethany Runyon and their question is, how does it work on non-native Creo parts brought in from a neutral file format? Yep, that's a really common question that we get. It works exactly the same as it would on a regular Creo part. So Creo has geometry recognition that, that this tool takes advantage of. So any, ge any valid geometry that you might bring in, whether it's from another platform, a neutral file format, as long as it's geometry that you can have in your assembly, uh, no problem, the tolerance analysis is gonna, gonna um, treat it just like it would a native Creo part. All right, well, thank you. Um, it looks like there are no more questions. So just to remind everyone, I highly encourage you to subscribe to our channel as we have previous Creo, MathCAD, and Windchill webinars and tutorials on YouTube. Follow us on LinkedIn, Facebook, and Twitter as well to be updated on any upcoming events, webinars, and exclusive deals from PTC. And once again, thank you all for attending and have a great rest of your day.